is up guys and we are back with another video so today's gonna be a little short one i just kind of want to give an update as, as well as just go over the zhao trailer or teaser that came out so the very first thing i want to talk about i'm not gonna like watch the whole trailer and react for you guys because i've already seen it but one thing i really want to talk about and i'm gonna play the clip right here so you guys can see what i'm gonna mention they swore an oath restore order through slaughter purge evil through battle to this, we dedicate our lives. Eons of bloodshed later, karmic debt weighed upon them, phantom wrath seeping into their broken souls. They went mad with fear, turned on each other, or succumbed to the darkness. Of the five foremost Yakshas, death came to three, while the fourth vanished without a trace. So you see that, guys, right there? basically what they're talking about by the way everything i say is completely just my guess it's not confirmed nothing is confirmed but they said one of the people survived does that mean that we're gonna be getting another character that's gonna be a yaksha like zhao maybe i feel like it's pretty possible i wouldn't be surprised if they did that because it gives more room to add cool characters and for you for those of you who are wondering which one are they gonna add or which one survived in my opinion, it is going to be the Electra one that we saw. So as you guys saw by my thumbnail, that's probably what he's going to be looking like. Just kidding. That's from Ben 10. But he does have four arms. He's Electro. I'm very curious to see what weapon he's going to be using. And the reason I think it's an Electro one. So someone put this in my Discord uh, today. So basically, if you read the description of the prim Primordial Jade Spear, it says all their names of all the Yakshas. And it says that only him and Zhao survived. And him referring to the Electro one. And in the video, if you guys saw the clip that I just played, they talk about the Electro one joining the dark side. So maybe he'll be in the Fatui and we'll meet him in the future. That could be a, he could be one of like the Harbingers. That would be really interesting and a really cool way to just involve him. But that's the only thing I really wanted to talk about the trailer. Obviously, Shao looks amazing um, when he comes out. I'm super excited, but I kind of just wanted to get your guys' opinion on that. Imagine having a four armed character that's Electro. I'm just curious about what weapon he's going to use. You know, it's always fun theory crafting. And also, I'm like super into the lore. And I know a lot of people are asking for lore videos. So I'm going to be working on that in the weekend and probably get one out for you guys. And then the second thing I want to talk about, right? This Sunday, I'm going to be doing my first ever live stream over the Hardcore Genshin Impact series slash Nuzlocke, whatever you want to call it. So I made a set of rules and I'm just going to go over everything for you guys. Okay, so rule number one like any hardcore game or nuzlocke if a character dies i can never use that character again another thing is whatever artifacts a character has i'm going to be feeding them and they're going to be deleted so basically what i mean by that is so for example say my ganyu dies and she has all these artifacts so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be taking the artifacts and just getting a random like artifact like this and just putting in whatever the artifacts that were on ganyu into her that way they're completely gone like all that hard work gone that's what makes this series ex insanely hard and on top of that is whatever weapon they're using same thing's gonna happen if it's a legendary weapon i'll feed it into level one weapon and it's gone it's a high risk zero reward series i don't know why i'm doing it but you know what it's something entertaining and who knows how long the challenge is going to even last because i might just die in like the first like week so another rule is I can't leave a domain in the middle of it. So basically, if I'm in a dungeon slash domain, um, I can't quit, right? I have to finish it or else like all my characters die. Like there's no going back. It's kind of like Sword Art Online, you know, when they get stuck and they can't do anything in that room. I know the Spiral Abyss, like I can't really do that because I have to leave unless I take it in one go. So, so for the Spiral Abyss, what's going to happen is I can only leave once I complete an entire floor. So basically, if I start on floor 9, I can't quit until I get to floor 10. And then once I get to floor 10, I can obviously quit. And then another rule is, obviously, this is going to be a completely free-to-play account. We're not going to be buying nothing. Just completely from scratch. So I'm not sure about this rule right here, what I'm about to tell you. But let me know what you guys think, okay? So basically, once I get a healer like Noel, um, I'm no longer allowed to use a statue to heal. So you know how you can go to the statues and heal yourself up? Um, I'm no longer allowed to do that. I don't know if that's like too impossible. How come this guy didn't freeze? What the heck? But yeah, that's something um, I'm considering just to make it really, really hard. Speaking of healing, we're not we're not going to be allowed to use any food or potions or anything like that. Any sort of buff like that. 
So you know how in normal Genshin Impact you can just be in the middle of a fight and you can just teleport out if you're about to die or something? So nothing like that. So we can only teleport once we're like not fighting anything and we're just like running around. Those are going to be all the rules for the hardcore Genshin thing. So let me know down below. Uh, is there any specific rules you guys want to see or is there any rules that you think are going to be too hard and I should change? Um, or just any tips in general about the series. Again, it's going to be this Sunday. I'll start streaming. It's going to be my first stream. I think it's easier to stream it because if I just make like a video series on it, people are going to be like, wait, you probably just healed up or something, you know? It's easier to do it live. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Uh, it was a pretty short one. I just kind of wanted to go over what I thought about the Zhao trailer as well as just give you guys a heads up on what's coming. Again, the giveaway is still going on. If you guys just didn't enter yet or didn't see that video, it's going to end February 3rd. So as soon as the patch drops, I'll be giving away Zhao, two battle passes, two resin passes. Or not resin passes, um, Welkin Moons. So yeah, that's pretty exciting. That's pretty much it for this video too, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know anything down below and see you guys.